Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Pacific Drive. This is an incredible new survival game that's all about that car on the screen right there. This is an open world driving horror survival game. And that sounds like a lot of stuff, but it also is a lot of stuff. And this game has one of the most satisfying progression systems I've ever seen. You're basically going to be tinkering on that car right there, upgrading it along the way, and you can change everything about it from the wheels to the side panels to adding different things on the side of it. It's super cool and really satisfying now on top of that there's also all kinds of crazy anomalies that you can find in this game and it was just a ton of fun to play now in this video we're going to start our brand new adventure that i really hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go in 1947 the olympic peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology as rumors of its utopian creation spread so did stories about overnight evacuations unsolved disappearances and unnatural encounters in 1955 the government walled off a section of the peninsula in order to establish the olympic exclusion zone for 30 years the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point what happened inside was never disclosed, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh boy. I love the graphics in this game. Uh, it kind of gives me this Firewatch vibe. I don't know if anyone agrees with me on that. Where it is realistic, but it has this like cartoonishness to it. DS Express shipping manifest. We're a delivery guy. Your Amazon delivery driver is on the case. Um, I tried to, if, by the way, in case you're confused, if you're watching this in the future and you watch the live stream, I tried to stream this. Uh, it's a very distracting game. There's tons of stuffs going on, so I got very distracted while streaming it, and I thought it would be a much better experience to play it off stream so I could really dig into all of it because I love the gameplay. This game has one of the most satisfying progression systems I have ever seen in any game. Um, you're basically going to have to like constantly tinker on your car and turn it into an absolute beast of a vehicle, which is super cool. Um, right now, though, we're driving a vehicle, and we're just gonna, we're just on the job. Nothing bad's gonna happen. That's the wall right there that they were talking about. The Olympic exclusion zone. Toggle wipers. I love these as well. You have little, oh god, I need to be careful. Uh, you have vehicle controls inside the vehicle. Turn off and on lights, the little things. And the rain, man. Nothing more comfy than being inside, either in the vehicle or in a house, and having the the rain patter on the windows it's amazing i'm a rain lover those reflections by the way i didn't even notice those this is streamer safe music i hope <laughs> i think so i turned on streamer mode so we should be fine what am i even delivering by the way maybe this is important i kind of want to see it just looks like boxes I see a calendar there. Wait, that calendar? I recognize that. I think we're gonna see that later. Wait. Maybe that's just an asset though they put there and it's not. I shouldn't look into it too much. Also, it became dark very fast. Oh god, shouldn't go this fast. These roads are nice for <laughs> being so off off the beaten path, probably. Uh these are very well maintained. That's the thing. Where I live, all the roads... I mean, I live in the Netherlands. We are very small. So the roads are extremely important to keep intact because they're used a ton. So all the roads around me are very fancy and nice. Although I never use them. Favorite form of transportation? I mean, I'm Dutch, so it's a bike. But for everyone, it should be a bike. If you can bike there, why not bike there? Why would you drive somewhere? Driving is so insanely annoying. You'd have to deal with other people. When you're biking, you're just out in nature, chilling. I mean, I guess it depends on where you live, <laughs> if there's even bike roads available. But where I live, the bike infrastructure is incredible. Uh, restricted area, authorized personnel only. That's me, I'm delivering. I'm super excited to, uh, to maybe introduce a few more off-screen playthroughs, because we, we didn't, we used to do them quite a bit, but then we kind of stopped, because I got super busy with the YouTube live streaming and uh, more warnings. I, I guess I can turn these off now. Uh, with YouTube live streaming requiring even more work on my part because I have to also make thumbnails for the YouTube live streams all the time. Uh, but now that I've eased off of, uh, or now that I've gotten used to it, also what the fuck is going on here? I have more time so we could do more off stream. So let me know if you want to see that. I'm just excited to be here and check out this crazy game. That's not 
There's, there's, there's <laughs> instability going on here. At this point, you should go away. Is there like a special ending for me driving backwards? There should be. I doubt there is. Uh, but I'm committed now. Because this is not normal. Oh god, my vehicle is not easy to control. That wasn't me, I promise. I'm definitely, you're definitely gonna see me drive like an absolute maniac, by the way. Uh, red means scary, you know the drill. Uh oh, my vehicle's dead. Can I get out? Dude, what the hell, this is so cool, man. And there we go, we are now inside the wall. Unwillingly. That is very bright. Please. Thank you. And here we go. There's been so many survival games this year. Holy heck. If you are a survival fan, you're gonna have to pick and choose which ones you play. There was Hell World, obviously, which probably the whole world played. Also, what in the fuck? This place is crazy. There was Pal World. I can sprint, of course. Uh, there was Enshrouded. There's Nightingale. There is Sons of the Forest full release. I'm head budding. Uh, there's this game. There's probably more coming out as well. There's One's Human. It's it's wild. Which ones have you guys been playing? I would love to hear. I would love to hear if you got any ability to bike near you as well. I know that's not common. I could not live without my bike. There's more bikes in the Netherlands than there are people. Did you know that? <laughs> I, I have also, I have one and a half bike, I would say. I got like one foldable bike for when I go into the train and one just like regular bike uh, that I use for daily transits. This is insanely looking. I love the graphics. It's amazing. Uh, we are trying to find transportation, get the safety. Now what you're gonna notice in this game, which is the reason it didn't work very well for me on stream, is that there are a lot of people talking to you all the time and they're dispensing a lot of information and it got extremely overwhelming having to pay attention to a bunch of people talking as well as chat talking to me all the time and my brain like <laughs> trying to oh here we go talking on the radio and it's our car man the beauty look at this guy put the wheel back on give me that you get this is like the start of one piece or what, the first piece of our of our build your own car puzzle right here look at this destroyed vehicle we're gonna build this up to a magnificent powerhouse we don't even have a back door we don't even have a side door our beautiful station wagon can't wait turn on put in drive actual vehicle controls <laughs> in 2024 Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I do read you. I'm picking up your I wish there was a way to talk back to me. Zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. The voice acting is very good, by the way. Alone for a second. Something is out there. I'm trying to drive well, but my vehicle is very much drifting to the right all the time. Shit stinky. I'm going hey, fast. Hey, do you copy? Probably be careful. I also have Hello? barely any fuel left. Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. <laughs> but if they're stranded... It does feel a bit strange to have everyone talk past you, but still with you. Yeah, my, my vehicle is empty. Hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? Oh, uh, uh whoops. <laughs> get ready for me to always forget to put the car in park, the by the way. This one won't either. That's a good point. Oh, man. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. Hello there. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Check you the fuel can. All right, grab it. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Okay, so we got Tobias, and there was Francis. Uh, I don't think there's too many characters in this game, if I remember, but they were all, like, talking to me all the time. Uh, and I'm gonna try and pay attention to the story, uh, and learn all the secrets. I am mostly here for the vehicle mechanics and the crazy anomalies we're gonna see, because there is quite a bunch of... The vehicle moving? Quite a bunch of wacky monsters. 
I didn't think this was a horror game, but it kind of is. <laughs> There's quite a quite a bit of a horror factor to it. Is there more fuel in here? Uh, I don't think there is. One. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Put this back here. Please. Let's go. I don't think I have much fuel. Oh god. I'm dying. I don't think I can die here. Maybe I can. Stop! My vehicle is uncontrollable. Oh, it is controllable. I'm literally doing it right now, but very annoying. That flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? How am I going this fast with a flat tire, by the way? That can't be. That hasn't been one in decades. Unfeasible. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What we should be looking at is how fast this creature seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one Holy cripes! Here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, this, this was not the car we drove in here with. So this is a new car. Whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. They're back, baby. Remnants. We're getting all kinds of uh, lore thrusted on us. Uh, don't know what they're talking about, but we're going to find out. I have more warning signs. It's not going to stop me, though. So this is... Oh, God. This is an open world game, but it does it in a very interesting way. You're going to see soon uh, where you kind of move between these different open world pockets, which is very clever because obviously you're driving... It. Oh, God. Uh, I want to drive around uh obviously you're driving a car so you want to have large distances but if you have to go through the same areas over and over again that would be very annoying um so they did it very cleverly all right my car is like barely i'm just gonna turn it off all right. okay, let's get out of here quite a way into the building i saw a door open right there can i kick this as well i know i have a kick oh yeah i'm holding e but it's not doing anything there's a door right here Okay, that's also locked off. I'm going through the front. I'll be a good boy. Light, thank you. I am in the building. Turn it on. This is our new hub. <laughs> We're gonna see this building a lot. Put the backpack on from the table. Who's there? Got the shop. That's me. But on the Great. mechanics, I had to hang by the map. Oh, baby. Ow! Oh, my head. Emergency. <laughs> Office custom built headset. Hello! Uh, attention! This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. Which has taken the form of a car, and well, uh, the whole thing. She's not gonna care. <laughs> uh, uh, right, like you said, super officials on business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you oh, do not, I, lost comply, my wheel? I will occupy this broadcast channel oh, yeah, with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's ten years and seventeen volumes. And <laughs> Just like a nail gun to the skull. All right, Oppie so, does not like Tobias. Another breach. Uh, how Boom. do you outsiders not understand that I didn't build door. that three hundred meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I grab that. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Well, why don't you stop me? Why don't you come here and kick my ass? The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break There's anything so in my logs. shop with those soft hands of yours. Alrighty, fix the car. Uh, we need to craft the crude door, but I don't got anything. You got something for me, lady? Blueprints? Ah, crude door. 
I want to craft this. Pin to checklist. Yes. <laughs> Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape, glass shard. I don't got any of that. Uh, gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. So we're going to be doing a lot of looting. That's also one of the reasons I want to do it off stream. Because I always feel guilty when I play these types of games. When I spend like an hour looting things, I feel like, well, I should make it more exciting because people are watching this live. Well, when I'm recording, I can just cut stuff out that's boring. Uh, and then go absolutely loot goblin, which is way more fun for me. Uh, because I love going loot goblin on survivor survival games. And it's also, I feel like, the way they're supposed to be played. Alright, we are going to pry this open. I would like to equip it. Boom. Open the trunk. There's already so much on the screen. Uh, <laughs> don't worry too much about it. We're gonna experience it slowly. Also, welcome to our friend, the dumpster. The friendly dumpster. <laughs> He's got... He will give us random things every time we come back here. Which includes this giant scrapper thingy. So this is our... It's my favorite item ever in any video game. It allows you to go to basically anything in the world. Well, not anything in the world, but a lot of things. And break them down to get these crafting materials. Which... You already see how that's gonna go. You're gonna go somewhere and there's gonna be seven cars and you're gonna be like, well, let's break them all down so we can build our own car. I think this is the last piece. There you go. Everything broken down. I want as many resources as possible, unless I can also, I can steal some fuel from here, but I think we just have some fuel right here. Yeah, let's take this. Oh, I can't take this yet. I have to go through the tutorial first. I get it, I get it. All right, craft my crew door. We also got a ton of other stuff to craft, but let's start with this. Crude door, please, and put it on. I will put it on the back. That seems more important. And then can I craft another one? Repair putty. Get the repair putty from the locker. I can't make another crude door. I'm just going to be driving around without a back door. That's fine. Uh, I would like a wheel. We got a health kit and the repair putty. Which, by the way, look at this inventory. It's very interesting. So, this is a backpack. But the backpack has different compartments. If you put it like this, you can't because this is g crossing over multiple compartments. So you have to really go full on Tetris mode <laughs> to fit everything um, in your inventory like that. All right, we got repair putty. This is going to be our best friend. Going to be repairing everything. Uh, crew door is fine. Our steel door took a huge beating. Repair the whole car. This is this is magic. Don't worry about it. Throw it on everywhere. This is a, I've never seen, like, a survival game like this. It's a very clever idea. No wonder many people are... Can I not repair this? No wonder many people are excited for this. I saw a few trailers of this game, and I was like, oh, yes. I want to play that. <laughs> uh, 80%. Oh, I still need to repair the tires. 90%. Bloop. This tire is flat. That's why, why it was so hard to control. Bumper. I'm glad they gave me enough. I'll repair the whole thing. You can also customize your entire car with different paints and stuff. You can make it your own. Scan the flat tire. Another very important mechanic that you're going to constantly have to remember. Uh, one of the things I also very much forgot when I first tried to play this game is that you have to scan constantly to unlock new things. <laughs> sure, it's just here. You can see that it's flat and you need a ceiling kit. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. We'll keep the spare tire. Uh, we'll craft a... Well, I mean, if we got a tire, we might as well. Let's do that instead. We're gonna drop it here, take off this one. Bye-bye. We'll leave it there. Maybe we'll use it another time. I don't think so, though. Let me put that on. Beautiful. Fix the car. Not much, but it's honest work. Scan the loose wheel. Okay. <laughs> Fix loose wheel with a mechanics, mechanical kit. Mechanics kit. Boom. We're going to be needing a million, you know, it's a survival game. We're going to be needing a million crafting materials down the line. But right now it's nice and simple. Oh, uh, whoops. There we go. Boink, boink. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Outfit the car. I would like, can I put fuel in it now? Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Storage. Very important. Uh, doing something. There we go. Beautiful. We 
got our storage. I would like to put my med kit in there. And I should put it probably here. My my resources. Install craft mat in the trunk. They really want you to feel like this is your baby. <laughs> You're like slowly building it up. Oh. <clears throat> There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Arc device. Oh, boy. oh sh can I scan? Oh, it goes in the in the passenger seat. Boom, and that's how it's done. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your north star and the only way back to safety. <laughs> Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's oh, how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Excuse me. We did it. Pick up gear blueprint by the front garage door. They are explaining it. It's just a lot of information to dump on the player all at once, but they're explaining it fairly well. Like, you need to... These are all important things. Like, I'm noticing it now, all the stuff I completely missed. You're not missing anything, by the way. Uh, my first playthrough was an absolute mess, and I am happy to be here and actually understand what the hell is going on and sharing that experience with you guys instead of the janky mess. I don't think I could have saved that one in the editing room. <laughs> All right, we got fuel. Uh, free fuel, by the way. That's That would have been the most horrifying part of this game, the, the prices of fuel nowadays. Uh, throw the switch to charge the battery. Boom. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. I've done it. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Alrighty, so this is a map. So, what they just started to explain, or what they did explain, uh, is that we have... Everything here is screwed up all the time. It's changing, so it's going to be like procedurally generated pockets of open world, which is super cool. Um, and we only have one spot to go right now, but if we upgrade our base, we'll be able to go deeper and deeper into crazier and crazier Off territories. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Right now we're just going here. Can I? There's nothing else to take from me here, right? Can't go in here yet. Can I pry bar this? I can't pry bar this. I need something else. Didn't I get a new crafting thing? I thought I got, yeah, the impact hammer. I don't have a gas cylinder, nor do I have a gear. All right, but we already have the crafting recipe for that, so we'll do that uh, when we get the materials, which I think is where we're going right now. Get, go for a drive. I, I like how they gave you pretty manual control over this car without making it, like, annoying as hell. I don't think there's a mode where you can, like, go actual gear shifting and stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe people would like that. I've been driving an automatic car for ever since I got my driver's license. I did learn how to drive manual. All right, I got my driver's license in a manual. Which, by the way, I've heard that's very different in different places of the world to get your driver's license. I remember when I was doing it in high school, I was talking to people, and it was like, yeah, you just drive around the church like three times and you get your driver's license. Uh, that was like someone in the U.S. I don't know if that's still the case. Maybe now you actually have to know how to drive, but I spent I don't even know how many hours practicing driving before you could even take the test to begin with. Uh, okay, so we're going here to the radio station. There's so much stuff on the screen. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to click this button and go. Radio station. Here we go. It is very, like, I'm... It is absolute yeah, Firewatch graphics. Maybe not as cartoonish, but very similar, in my opinion. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. 
First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That right That's there. Those antenna things zapping you when you get I don't too think close. I have to care. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Um, I'm hearing evil noises. I love the storm. Your picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator. It'll figure out the tools you need. Plasma generator. Looks like it's ripe for the picking. Oh boy. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Dr. AF Kingy, date unknown. As we continue to explore viable energy solutions in the increasingly unstable environment that is the zone, we have begun testing the first handheld plasma containment devices. In a zone plagued with radiation instability, electromagnetic interference, as many and many as yet unexplainable phenomena, any infrastructure created for energy transmission is proven to be all but useless. Hence our investigations into the potential of charged and even magnetized plasma, studying both the conductive and capacitive qualities of the samples we have contained. Plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been forced to haul from place to place. And if the latest research from Limtech team is to be believed, we may soon have a way to make it just as portable. At present, we wait updates for from Dr. Essid as she finalizes her report on the Brookland Currents. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to raid. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the I helm. need to craft something. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. The impact hammer. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice. Find those materials by any means necessary. Destroy everything. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outpost facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures will even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. <laughs> I will do that. Uh, I've tried not to talk over the dialogue, by the way. People always get mad when I talk over the dialogue. I'm sorry if I do it at any point. I'm trying to also, <laughs> like, get my own conversation going. Uh... It's stormy as hell, man. So we're gonna look for enough materials to get the plasma hammer so we can break the, or the impact hammer. I should have filled this thing, huh? I forgot to fill this little fuel tank. It's fine, we'll be fine, hopefully. Uh, sodium vapor light. Maybe we're going to destroy that. It's gonna give me glass. It's gonna give me pressurized cartridges. I don't think I even found that out on my first playthrough. I was looking for those pressurized cartridges all the time. I never broke one of these downs, I don't think. Recommended tool, hand vacuum. Oh, interesting. You can suck out the, the lights or something. Anyway, I'm going inside. This place is a little evil. Kick it. I can't, I can't open that. Give me more of these. I don't think there's a condition, like, if you stay in the rain too long, you get cold or something. Also, we don't have legs. Maybe we are, like, a robot of some sorts. Okay, I need one more thing, which I'm probably gonna find in here. In this backpack? Nope. In this thing? Yes. Yes. There we go. Gas cylinder is what I needed. But I'll be taking everything else as well. Inventory space is not that big of a deal, I don't think. You have quite a forgiving inventory. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. But we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. <laughs> All 
Okay, so remnants, which is apparently our car, uh, they attach themselves to people and then they make them go crazy, which uh, that might be my fate now. I think I got everything in here. Uh, danger, high velocity particles. Got a ton of loot, by the way. Let's go. Is there any more? There is another car over here. Get ready for, oh, I dropped that on the floor, but this is gonna break as I do this, right? At least finish this one, please. Oh, no, I can do another one. Okay, well, rip. I'm gonna craft another one real quick. Uh, hello! <laughs> Abductor! These guys, the sucky boys, I've come to call them. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing? Okay, then. Can I read about them? Logbook. Abductor! Letter fragment, date unknown. Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured out it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly. But me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened. Top secret things and all. But we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes. Hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture I sketched out. I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. All right, so they got dragged. I mean, they're called abductors for a reason. Okay, we need to... I'm gonna make another... Recommend collect materials and craft replacement parts. Yes, we need to craft more replacement parts. We need this right here. We need a panel. We need a light. We need a door and another panel. Two panels, a light, and a door. Uh, first, though, I would love to get another scrapper. Thank you very much. Should also probably put some stuff in the car. There we go. Look at this. Such nice inventory management, man. If there was one thing <laughs> that I immediately want to be added to every other survival game, that's like the one thing that so many survival games get wrong. It's like having a terrible inventory. It's like the one thing you interact with the most, you should refine it until it's not annoying. Like, why do so many survival games have annoying inventories when you spend so much of your time, like, putting shit in and out of it? Uh, it's crazy. And a car. A, a car survival game. Needs to be done more. I was, I've been playing a, a bunch of car games recently. Uh, Beware was really good. I hope Beware is ever going to come out. This game has been in early access for ages now. More duckies, please. It's just rubber. Rubber ducky. There's a ton of stuff. Now, you don't have to loot everything. They actually did a really good job with this. Uh, you don't have to loot everything. You can go full loot goblin, but you can't really loot everything because there's going to be stuff literally everywhere. Um, so you can just decide to stop here and there. Uh, warning, radio radiation hazard. Uh, and some places will have a lot more loot than other places. So if you recognize the right places, you'll be able to get a ton of stuff really quickly without having to spend a ton of time, which we'll hopefully do right here. I don't think I can go inside this. No. Warning. Uh, I would like this, though. Recommend a tool scrapper. Let me just break everything. Uh, where did my scrapper go? Oops, I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> I would like the electronics or whatever this is going to give me. Uh, we get pressurized cartridges from this as well. More loot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you for leaving all this behind by the way. I mean, I guess they all have to leave really quickly, right? Because stuff went crazy here. Uh, the Olympic Peninsula. There's a national park in the US, if I remember. That is like the Olympic... What is it called? I forget. I have no one to ask right now. That's the downside of not having chat by your side. You can't say things and then just <laughs> assume someone will, go will give you the answer. But I think I've been there and it's very beautiful. It's, uh, I think it's like at the water as well. This is some, I mean, the United States got some of the most beautiful places. Like, I know I make fun of you guys all the time, but it is, if I could only choose one country, I mean, it's kind of cheating because the U.S. is like so big, it's got everything. But if there was, if I had to choose just a single country to go on vacation to the rest of my life, 
100% be the US. I mean, if I could choose all of Europe, I'd choose all of Europe, but <laughs> so I guess it's not necessarily fair. Okay, so we're gonna craft a crude door here. Yes, put on a door. Oh, we also need a bumper there. We need a bumper too. Okay, crude door, crude headlight. Yes, please. Boom. One piece at a time. Then we need another panel. Uh, panel. I think I need two of these. Beautiful. I mean, not very beautiful, but it's it's something. And then another panel right there. Boom. Is that it? We did it! We fixed the car! Look at that! <laughs> it's, it's a little broken, but we're gonna fix it down the line. Beautiful. Okay, I think I also looted basically everything here. Uh, so we're gonna smash more plasma generators now. First, though, we should drop off some stuff. Alright, let's go. Uh, my steel door has a problem. Wait, 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 wait. It's got something. Uh, ceiling kit. It is cracked. It's also the only steel door that I got. Do I have a ceiling kit? I don't have a ceiling kit, but I can probably make one. I can make one. Is it there? Boom. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Am I not holding the ceiling kit right now? I'm holding a mechanics kit. Did I make the wrong thing? Oh no, here we go. Boom. Fixed. Anything else broken? My wheels are fine. Side panels are all okay. I mean, I just put them on. All right, there we go. He's done it. I will. All right, where are we going? We're gonna just, I mean, it's just a single road. I guess I'll go down the road. I mean, either splash, smash more plasma generators. I find this a lot more chill. I think maybe survival games should just be all off stream. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, if you're watching this, you don't mind watching off stream. Um, oh, oh, there's more of the abductors. Probably gonna abduct my car. <laughs> survival games are kind of tricky. I, I still think there's... I mean, I'm not saying that I got a hard job streaming is relatively easy, but there is a lot more going into it. Like, you should try it for yourself if you... <laughs> like, it's not as easy to talk about a game, talk with an audience, focus on the game, and, like, do everything perfectly without people getting annoyed. Like, I'll literally get stuck for 10 seconds, and the YouTube comments will fucking destroy my ass. Dude, he never pays attention. He sucks. And I'm just out there like, my guy, I'm trying my best, okay? So, yeah, I... Oh, man. Spark Tower. Let me read that. I hope it's not going to hit me all, all the way out here. Spark Tower. Private Field Notes. Dr. Everett. I don't know if all these names are important. I'm assuming not. Uh, Plasma, which, by the way, we didn't finish reading that one, but I think there is an Arda. Is like the facility or the... Where was it? There. Plasma Generators. We didn't finish reading this. Uh, Arda is the company that did all the experiments in here, I think. Uh, Art and management are keen for us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible. We don't believe it is yet ready. They are, as ever, simply trying to rush research and save money. Well, I mean, I'm assuming this went wrong as well. Let's read about that. Um, spark tower. Plasma-powered spark transmitters. Combining previously obsolete coils with limb enhanced, which limb, I don't know, some kind of new technology. Repeaters have proven to be the best way to boost signals through the zone. The constant increase in radiation and electromagnetic interference has made radio communication extremely difficult and often subject to bizarre distortions. These new modified coils appear to have solved that. The addition of local plasma power sources is a reliable way to keep each node within this vital infrastructure both operational and independent. However, the price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. They're demanding beasts and burn through components rapidly. If key resistors and capacitors are not regularly replaced, they quickly develop a habit of either shorting or even releasing constant high voltage, low current discharges into the immediate vicinity. I can see that right here. Don't touch me, please. I would like to break it. That's probably going to turn it off. There's also another car right there. You know I'm gonna break that down immediately. I mean, there's a ton of them here. Uh, let's do this first. I need... Hi, sir. Dude, it's insane. It's, it's, I know I've been saying it quite a bit, but it's an, an amazing looking game. I need all the plastic. I mean, I wanna upgrade my car as soon as possible. Get some more steel doors on there instead of these crude pieces of shit, which... These are light sources, by the way. Road flares. Did I, I should move my... I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Behind here is just the... It's the... 
durability bar of the item I'm using, but you can also see that in the middle of the screen. So I'm, I'm going to keep myself on the on the side here. So I'm not going to be taking up more of the screen than I, I need to, because I know we want to see the game as well. Which, by the way, for me, is that... Uh, vehicle, yes. I am a strict, like, face cam only Andy. I don't know, there's something very strange about watch like hearing someone talk i guess it depends on the on the type of experience you're going for but if it's a more personal journey it feels a bit weird not to be able to see someone and like see how they react <laughs> with their own you know human body and face <laughs> rather than just hearing it only i remember being extremely anxious of doing my first <laughs> face cam stream oh man the good old days. Well, looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Uh, I see towers. Also, by the way, we shouldn't go out there, obviously. Uh, that's the instability. We don't want to be there. Yeah, I remember doing my first stream. It was kind of, it was pretty normal immediately. Because I had like a pretty, oh god, I did the wrong thing. I had a pretty loyal, very small but loyal community when I did my first face cam stream. And they were immediately like, oh, so that's what you look like. And for some reason, I don't know, you can't, you guys can't say this, but a lot of people say like, yeah, you, your voice sounds like how your face looks like. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a compliment <laughs> or, uh, or not a compliment. Because sometimes you'll like have watched someone that you didn't see their face and then you suddenly see their face and you're like, what the fuck? That's what you look like? That doesn't sound like your voice at all. Uh, but for me, apparently, people were okay with that. Let's see. Or okay with my face, which, <laughs> once again, a little strange. We can go over there to loot more stuff. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna loot more stuff. Also, there's literally... Park this real quick. Instructions. Oh, shit. My, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduce ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a uh, scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. Wait, where That's enough. Resident Master of limb technology. Are you guys ever going to explain anything about this limb technology you guys got going on? Uh, something evil is happening here, but I'm just happy looting away. Are these those machines? Yes. Hi. Uh, is that one corrupted or is that what they always look like? I think they're being attracted by my light source. If I am too guess what's going on it's so dark i'm just gonna throw these road flares around i know i just used all my road flares but we'll get more down the line at least now we can see i know this is super important scrap metal i was constantly running out of scrap metal it was also because i probably wasn't looting as much as i should have lab computer uh recommended tool scrapper you should really just sc scan everything because sometimes you'll be able to use a different tool and get more resources from it very broken. It's still all working out here, huh? That doesn't feel like that will be the case. That's all you got. Okay, then we... I saw more. I really want to be abducted by you guys. Can you abduct me? Hello? You don't want to abduct me. There's so many of you guys. How strange. That's interesting, because when I first walked into one of these guys in my first playthrough, they immediately attacked me every time. I don't know why, because now they're not doing that. They're just, they're just chilling. They're totally fine with me, which I appreciate. Probably also turn off my car when I leave it, because otherwise we're going to run out of fuel and stuff. How are we doing on fuel? We're doing magnificent on fuel, so no problems. I know I'm going off the beaten path right here, but there's a house here, and I want to see it more loot for me which let me know how do you play i mean if you're 
if you're an avid survival gamer, there's no way you're not a loot goblin. But I love to just... My favorite thing in a survival game is when I have collected so much shit that I had no idea what it did along the way. Then you get like, oh, you should craft the dingle donger, like an important material or an important machine you need. And you just have like hundreds of the crafting material you need to make it and you can instantly craft it. There's nothing much more satisfying or more satisfying than that, in my opinion. I love that. Uh, I would like another flare. Right, I need to break that down, but let's first check these back rooms because I'm going to have to draw my flare again. This, I mean, you can, we're going to craft better light sources. Don't worry about it. Right now, we're just always in the dark. You guys are making a lot of noise. Toolbox, but I haven't scanned this yet. Supply containers. Literally everything has a log entry, huh? <laughs> I hope you guys can see it. I can see the game. I'm looking at my OBS and it looks fine. It's just a little dark. Maybe I can turn up the gamma slightly. That actually helps quite a bit. It looks a lot better. I don't know if it's going to be too bright outside now, but uh, at least in what is that? We got a lot. I didn't even know you could find these. What was that? It's a log book. Undiscovered. SRR meetings. Minutes. One. Meeting minutes. Or meeting minutes. September 16, 1949. Agenda. Celebration of the founding of SRR. What our future will look like. Address it. Address by Dr. Ophelia Turner. Uh, wait. Isn't that Oppie? Isn't that the doctor that keeps talking to us? Open ideation session with consultation from Dr. Ophelia Turner on experimental setups. Arising concerns, proper safety procedure, handling and protection in limb experimentation. Action items, society agreed to regular monthly meetings on Friday evenings. Dr. Reginald Stanley Robinson to take notes and form at future minutes. AOB and matters arising. Tea cake tasting, courtesy of visiting professor Sir Anthony Guild FRS. Okay. Uh, let's see how it's outside. Is it too bright outside? No, it still looks fine. I mean, it's gonna get darker as well. You can just see a little better. I should put stuff in the in the back seat. Don't abduct me. Look at that. We already got 20 of that. 20 glass. We'll find a use for this. I am not afraid of that. Okay, now let's go to the actual place we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go there. This is the waypoint. Can I just skip across here? Oops, didn't put it in the drive. Wait, is that steel, by the way? Wait, 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 wait. I think this is a steel car. This looks like much nicer. It is a steel door. Break this down immediately. Maybe we'll get some steel from this. Uh, no steel. Come on, give me some steel. No steel again. Come on, man. Okay, I'm getting unlucky. I think you're gonna steal from that. It would make a lot of sense. Old steel door, after all. No steel. Because I know steel is extremely expensive. Okay, I didn't get any steel, but we'll keep trying. I could also break that down. There's more there. Stop making all these creepy noises, please. There's so many of these, by the way. It's not just the abductors. There's so many interesting creatures. I haven't... I mean, I only played for, like, a few hours, and I saw already so many of them. There are... I don't even know. Oh, what the hell. These guys. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit my car, please. No! Fuck. Break it down. Stop it, sir. I am... What the fuck is going on? I'm just trying to protect my car out here. I right, broke everything. Thank you. Uh, are you okay? Took a little bit of damage. Not too much. I'll repair that down the line. What are these guys? The crash dummies. <laughs> Tourist. Hi, sir. I want to walk into them 
I know this is a bad idea, but I want you to see it. <laughs> they explode. <laughs> Basically, that did so much damage. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's read about. Let's go in the car and read about them because there's radiation outside, and I don't want to die. Okay, there's no radiation inside. Let's see. We got tourists. Dictaphone recording. Office of Dr. Richard Preble, circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? So, uh, it turns out that you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, uh, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report says, here says, on a roof, we've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about that other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So, um, I'm gonna... I'm going to be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here, for sure. But I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full-time, you know? It's, uh, it's very strange here. Station's oh. up on a hill somewhere. Yeah, I get it. I'm reading. Eyes to the horizon. Stop shaming me. Uh, you work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly. But I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh, God, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's another anomaly. You know I'm a sucker for anything that even remotely resembles an anomaly entity SCP kind of thing. I would like to break this before it breaks me. Oh, let's go. So much glass. Is that a plane? Sounds like a plane. Okay, gas station here. Obviously, we gotta stop at this gas station. What's this? Is a thermosap crystal? Excuse me? They're thermosap crystal. The tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It suggests all manner of mechanical application. Seems very important. Uh, that also looks like a steel car. Is there just. Are those just laying around? How did I get one of those? It's just laying right there. You get more anomalies. This game is just all about go out and just walk around and see what mesmerizes you and walk up to it and scan it and see what it is. <laughs> That's my favorite part. More of duck. There's more of these guys. I should probably not hit them. Also, I'm taking some damage. Do I have a heal? I do not have a heal. Boink. More backpacks. There's food. Can I eat that? How do I use it? Use, please. There we go. You hold it. All right. A little bit. A huge, huge food, and it only gave me, like, I don't know, eight percent. Oh, I'm still taking. I'm taking damage. I'm taking radiation damage. Okay, we shouldn't be out here too much. I'm assuming later on we're gonna be able to craft like a radiation suit or something. Uh, but right now, I should get away. Why is that? Because of those abductor thing or uh, tourist thingies? You can see your car where your car is, by the way, on top left. If you're ever confused, if you're playing this game yourself. has a little arrow pointing towards it. I've gotten lost quite a bit. I mean, it's a car game after all. I've got to stay close to it. Yeah, I want to make a stop at that gas station. Even though I am, I mean, I'm, I could use some tanking. So that's a steel car. I'm definitely going to break that down. I'm just going to drive through this. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, park and turn it off. So we can fuel in safety. Can we fuel? We can. Boom. And then I can also fill the other thing that I forgot to fill. This thing right here. Drop it on the floor. There we go. A little safety net for if we ever run out. I mean, you're probably going to have to do some real long trips down the line. I assume. And I'd loot the toilet. It's not seven days to die. You can't just get a bunch of water from the toilet all the time. Uh, this brightness is so much nicer. You can actually see what's going on here. I would like to scrap any and all electronics. Thank you. There's 
yellow stuff there. Uh, do I have a flare? I don't have a flare. Loot at the back. There's a room here. Wait, is there a room here? Yeah, what is this? I can't go in there. I guess it's nothing. So much material. That's a benefit. Here it actually is believable that there's still so much left because people just have to leave, right? They didn't... It's always the most unbelievable thing that in the apocalypse people will just leave stuff laying around that you can pick up instead of everyone just taking everything that's not bolted to the ground are we gonna see something like that in our lifetime i mean maybe <laughs> it's the way stuff's going right now it's not looking too hot i should break down the steel car That's the nice part about this. I don't have to worry about anyone else on the road. I can just drive like an absolute maniac. Put my car down in the middle of the road like this and no one's going to stop me. That is steel. Come on, give me actual steel this time. No. This is locked. Let me get more flares. Thank you. There's steel! Let's go! Steel sheet! So that right there is super nice to have. We're gonna be able to craft some better doors with that, hopefully. Okay, only one is already good. So I'm not gonna be breaking down more of the rusty cars. I'll just break down the steel ones only. To save you guys some time and just save myself some sanity, too. I think that's everything. Oh, no. Side panel. Bing, bada, boom. Beautiful. How was there still... I mean, I guess I'm the only one that has started to break down cars. This car was in pretty good condition for being in, like... I guess it's a remnant or whatever that means. The, the haunted station wagon. That is basically what my parents were driving in for many, many years until they finally got a better car, which that better car was a Prius, so <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, the Prius is fine, especially the new Prius looks kind of sick, honestly. The They've done some some image upgrades of the Prius. It used to be like the, the nerdy ass uh, boring hybrid, and now they actually made it look cool. If you think I'm insane, you should look at the new Prius. It's got some some cool light design like a nice shape or maybe i'm just i don't know much about cars before i start getting out of my lane i'm not much of a of a car guy nor am i really an anything guy i just play games all the time i'll just end like i'll end a stream of like four hours of playing games and a day of eight hours of editing games and then i'll play more games you want games in your games that's me and I would, there's quite a few games that I like never streamed. Like we, I finally got the share Terraria recently, which was really cool. Thank you guys all who stopped by the Terraria stream. And if you want to watch it, I don't think I'm making like an actual video on Terraria, but we have live streamed everything on YouTube as well. Uh, I should make a playlist about that. This broadcast transmitter. I would like to just yoink that, please. Thank you so much. Time to um, get moving. The instability's ticking up. So everyone can check that out if they want to, because Terraria is amazing. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Oh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about lift technology than you need to know. <laughs> Uh, something is telling me I won't be out of here soon. Uh, okay, so this... This is... I mean, I was already confused by this point, but... Pretty wild, the stuff that we're gonna be going through. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna break these cars down, and then I'm breaking them down. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's it's loot, okay? I, I couldn't get into that house, so I, ne I need to make up for it somehow. Beautiful. Uh-oh. I thought that was one of those abductors behind me, but it's not. I would like another scrapper. We already gone through two scrappers. Someone keep count of how many scrappers we're going to go through during this entire playthrough. Uh, which, by the way, if you enjoy, make sure to let me know if you want to see more, because 
Um, I want to. I want to play more. I've been thinking about it quite a bit. Very interesting game. It's a bit of a. I found the story a little hard to get used to because it's like. I mean, some games do it like this, where the main character just doesn't have a voice, and all the side characters talk to the main character all the time. Uh, ooh, a tiny test. Hey, Hoppy, like, look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now, seems positively helpful. I, seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only oh boy, thing all those yellow things, we need to go to those. And the back of this breacher's head when I send them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine, stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait, really? Hoppy, darling, you've never given this easily. What's what's going on? <laughs> Francis? Uh, yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting shot. 80? You're a legend. You're a role model. She does I'm not sound 80 to me. 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay. Uh, uh, oh, it's there. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. The bunnies. No idea what those are. Uh, this right here is what we're looking for. It's the ground penis. <laughs> I want to scan it. <laughs> Bollard. So many things. Bollard. Transmission fragment, origin unknown, March 21st, 1961. Yes, Anita, I do agree with you that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think what we're seeing here is something new and unique, something unmatched by anything in the zone as previously offered up. Um, but I must disagree with your conclusions. Strongly. I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomena they very likely occur in response to ground vibrations or local disturbances, and I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they are deliberate reaction, even a defense mechanism, takes a discussion in a very different and quite uncomfortable direction. I think we should be reviewing your reports before you submit them. This conversation goes no further, and I'll be scrubbing the transmission logs as soon as possible. Understand? Okay. There may be a defense mechanism. Also, this thing right here. I want to go there. I, mean, I think that's too far away. Check out those huge silo looking things. Anchor plug. Uh, yeah. Private those field. Oh. May look like glowing balls oh, I guess we'll just magic, grab it. But it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. I haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. Recently. Okay, then. Uh, sounds a bit dangerous. Seems the world is angry. So they're just... Oh, I understand now what these are. <laughs> they're like anchors of stability. So if you remove them, you remove the stability from the area so it gets more crazy, but you can also use the power from them to do something for yourself. Understood. So they were trying to control it. I want more, though. Oh, sorry. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. Okay, you I'm... do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Uh, I'm not going to leave yet. I want to actually collect all of them. Uh, and use the energy. Give me, give me. Oh, so the bigger the circle around it, the more energy you get from them? Because this one's probably going to be small. No, that's still quite a bit. Okay, I am going to uh, quickly... Oh, God. Stop this. It's probably going to lift my car. Oh, yep. All righty. <laughs> Oops. You put me down, please? Hello? Oh, God. Ow. Fuck. Uh, this is a problem. I am... What the fuck? Ow, 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 ow. I have one HP. Get hit by your car achievement? What happened, bro? <laughs> Excuse me, I need to heal. 
Heal. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think the game just did like a ton of damage to me because the car was like falling. So I thought it was falling for a while. Oh my God. What? My car, dude. It's gone all beaten up. All right, let me grab some of the repair putty. Uh-oh, maybe I should just move away from here, huh? Oh, yeah, they're quite big. All right, I should not just stay here, I think. We'll, we'll repair later, we'll repair later. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't want to be here. Uh, whoops, I put it in park. Should not stay around these anchors. I'm gonna go to the other one, though. I know the game wants me to leave, but you can't stop me. All right, I'm right there. Oh, wait. I think it's in the forest. I'm gonna do a little insane detour here as well. You leave my car alone, and I'm gonna scrap every single one of these vehicles. Just do that <laughs> really fast. And it's gonna take a while. I scrapped all of those vehicles right there plus this truck which this truck actually gave me uh, Three gear, which I think is good. I still have the broadcast transmitter uh, Let's go. We got so much stuff. I ran through one entire scrapper plus this one halfway <laughs> uh, We got too much stuff. Oh, baby. Look at all the colors 20 of so many we got so much rubber <laughs> so more, more than 60 rubber All right now that we've done that and I've gotten my loot goblin fixed. We can go over. Oh, don't oh. worry about me. Take yes, I was taking my time. Thank you very rush. much. That suits me just fine. <laughs> I don't think it suits her just fine. Uh, I was collecting a bunch of loot, lady. Don't be mad at me. It's gonna be helpful later. Trust me. Maybe. Hi, are you gonna abduct me? Don't abduct me. This is mine. It's after me. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it's the machine itself making noise. I thought it was one of those guys following me. Okay, so there's one more. And then we're fully... Oh, yeah, my car is extremely fucked up. Maybe I should repair it. Let's do a quick repair, because everything looks red and scary. I don't like it. I made, I got so many resources, we can do a quick, uh, repair. All right, everything is repaired, but I noticed that I actually, I don't know if I just forgot to add a bumper or if I lost my bumper, but we didn't have a bumper. So let's put that on. There we go, beautiful. All right, almost everything, uh, repaired. There's so little things like this, but look at this, if I use this to repair a tiny thing like that boom there goes my repair putty so that's a huge waste just wanted to show you that real quick i, I shouldn't repair unless it's very damaged uh anyway it should be a lot better now look at that everything is blue again beautiful all right <laughs> took a huge beating from the ground penises but it's okay oh no there's more cars you know what that means i'm gonna get more stuff I went a little crazy and I collected so many additional cars. Uh, took up another full scrapper and I got over a hundred scrap metal now, as well as my actual car inventory now being completely full uh, with stuff. There is only one thing that remains, which is uh, picking up that final anchor right there. So let's pick it up. And there it is. Also, there's a tiny little building here. Uh, it's a toilet. Oops. It is a toilet with a phone. That's gonna give me electronics. Never mind. It's gonna give me batteries though. A uh, bunch of food. I'll take that. Allows me to heal. Fabrics. And another dumpster. This is not a friendly dumpster though, but it got a ton of stuff. I 
appreciate it. Oh boy. There's also this car, by the way, which had actually gave me a steel plate again, another one. I already have like four steel or something, which is wild. I need to run. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we have this one, we have all the energy that's on this map fully looted. Look at that, beautiful. Fully looted the entire map. It is time to start a super cool procedure. This right here. We need to select our gateway, which is going to be this one. I think we're we're a little far away, so this is going to be very risky. But what's the worst that could happen? Let's do it. It's going to allow us to leave this like little pocket of stability. Oh boy. Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Okay, so now you can see there's a circle around the map that's gonna close in on us. There's the laser. Uh, it's like the Fortnite fog, basically. You have to get out of here before it reaches you. I think this first level is okay, but the red level is, is full on death. Oh wait, no, I should have really not started it this far away. What have I done? Oh no. Refueling the car. Wait. Oh boy. I thought I was actually out of fuel there. That would have been a total disaster. Okay, this is going faster than I expected. I shouldn't have gone this stage this far away, man. Go, go, go. Uh oh, the red line. No, it's coming. Uh, pillar. I lost the pillar. There's the pillar. We're gonna have to off road with my station wagon. Totally safe. Move this pedal to the metal. Don't flip over, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to repair this car <laughs> when we get out of here. That is so cool, man. It's insane. What a super cool system they got. People were complaining that it's not, like, truly open world, but I think this is way cooler. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> we made it. We survived. It's also very bright. Thank you. And then we're back here. So you get sent back to the... Look at that trip report. That took me an hour. I spent quite a bit of time loading. Oh, I had fun. Wow. You're alive. I am. Certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Oh, boy. Did I not mention that you're the I'm first human I've sent through here. that thing? I mean, they have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchors Boom. to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. <laughs> and just because I haven't used that garage in oh, decades shit. doesn't mean you can trash the place, Woo! mess up my equipment, That's and I'll just throw into the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Yes. All right. I will try not to break anything. That was an insane amount of loot right there. Holy. Can I break down this door? Get a side entrance. I am breaking your stuff. I hope. I mean, she did mine, she said, but what are you going to do? There we go. Okay, so this is our blueprint machine right here. The blueprint station, which will allow you to unlock all kinds of stuff for the... What, do, what? It wants me to unlock something here. Yeah, scanning antenna. That allows you to... It's basically the skill tree of the game. You can unlock all kinds of things. Uh, first of all, we need to put the antenna on the roof, uh, which is over here. Extend your range in the zone. I can't wait to find some of the crazier stuff. I want to make all my... I think I can do that already. I'm, I'm not sure. It took me so many hours to get my car to be steel uh, when I first played. And that's where I stopped. So we're already going to be further than my first playthrough on the first antenna trip. Signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Right, we got an antenna. Look at that. Beautiful. Also, friendly dumpster. You got something for me? He's got some stuff. Can you give me some plasma? Two of them. I appreciate it. Probably gonna be important. Okay, can I craft? Wait, there's more in here. Oh, what the hell? Uh, hand vac. I got all kinds of stuff here. Thank you. Crude panel, crude bumper. Don't think I want those. 
Uh, my inventory is a little messy. I should probably put that there. This should go away, I guess. We already read this. I guess I'll just put... I'll put that in here. I'll put that here. And then we'll take... Repair putty, I will take gladly. You can't have stuff overlap, obviously. It's gonna... It's gonna drop. Oh, God. I wish it would automatically... Yeah, there we go. Okay, hand break. We can... I don't think I ever used a hand break. Hand vacuum. I should read what this does, because I never use this. Hand vacuum. Here we go. Using most of the basic principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner, th though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. It will try to suck up anything small it's pointed towards. So maybe we can get, uh, like, those light bulbs out of the lights uh, and maybe other stuff like that. Can I unlock more? I know you want me to do the handbrake. I'll do the handbrake now. Here we go. Uh, put that in there for a moment. That doesn't even fit. I'll just hold it in my hand. Is that an option? There we go. Hold it in my hand and then install. It's the biggest handbrake of all time. Boom. Let's Make go. sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. I already did that. Do you have something for me? Always need to check the dumpster. Oh, it gives me this. The transfer trunk. I appreciate it. I already transferred everything, though, but we'll use this next time. Uh, we gotta refuel first and then get a bunch of blueprints. See, that was a... And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Uh, okay, so we can go further now. I'm not going to do that yet, though, because I want to first upgrade because this place is a little destroyed. Uh, didn't get any paint this time. Interesting. I probably missed that. Um, I swear I looted almost everything, though. Uh, I want... I don't want this, but I want my scrapper back. Thank you very much. But I want more. The blueprints. I especially this one. Matter Deconstructor. Wait, I can't make it? I need more gears. Well, I can easily make you more gears. I got 178. <laughs> 178 scrap metal? Holy shit. All right, we need three gears. Uh, one, two, three, because we already had one. Which then allows us to make matter deconstructor. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. The matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Do be careful not to try get your hand stuck in the suspension matrix. I will avoid that. Boom. Very important. Matter deconstructor. And then we can actually grab these, because we already have this. Uh, I will just grab those and deconstruct them. Put them in there. Brum, brum, brum. That gives you so many more resources. And there was another bumper. Beautiful. Also, this car is now... Wait, it's a steel car? Wait, it's a steel car. That's huge. Can I do something here? There's one item. Let's see. Uh, if I remember, it's here. There is the Liberator. Yes. The Liberator. Less precise than a cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. What if I make that? That seems really good. Uh, and then I just remove the steel doors from this vehicle and put them on my own vehicle. Is that a thing I can do? Uh, give me all this stuff. Put it in there. So we should already... Oh, I'll keep the hand vacuum. We should unlock that too so we can make it. Put the repair putty there. We have to do... We have a little, do a lot, little bit of maintenance here. But it's... Like, this is what I mean. It's like the most satisfying progression system of all time. Because it's also tactile. It's like, just, just tinker a little bit with this car. You feel like a mechanic. Uh, I would like to make the Liberator. We need five Thermosap crystals. Okay, so we can do that yet. We're gonna, we're gonna need more Thermosap for that, which I don't think we can make. Yeah, we can make another engine. We don't have that. Okay, I will then just do, make my own steel panels. Let's see. Uh, expanded locker. Don't need the outfitting station. We need gas cylinders, which I don't think we can make either. Look how much we, we... That costs quite a bit to unlock, by the way. We should definitely do steel door now, though. Uh, we are missing... We need to research steel sheet. Which we need a bulb for that first. Bulb. Thank you. And then steel sheet. So this is all the different categories. There's so much. Steel sheet. I should research that. Can I please pick it up? 
We we are some kind of oh I guess we're using the mechanics eyepiece, right? That we got. And now can I make uh steel doors? I can, but it costs a lot to unlock, and I don't think we can do two. So you know what? We can stick with the crude for one more trip and instead maybe get the hand vacuum. It it costs exactly the amount we need. Anchor Raider? I think I'm gonna do that. Because then I have another tool that allows me to extract more loot. And then when we come back with a million dollars, because we mostly need that energy. So the energy that we got, um, like those anchor things that we put in the car and then we could leave the area, uh, they will give you their just stable energy that we have uh, 0 0.9 left uh, here. Which I think I shouldn't have gotten the Liberator, but that's fine. Uh, we could get the outfitting station that's kind of sick but i want the hand vacuum let's get the hand vacuum light replacement kit no i'm gonna get oh this actually costs the exact amount i hope i can craft this it doesn't say what i need to craft this so let's hope i have enough resources to make one of these um do i hand vacuum i do have enough it costs very little actually all right well we can make that uh, we should actually make one now. Make one now. Uh, and take that with us. So we have two, because this one was very, very damaged. Alright, we got two of those. Uh, we're, we're probably going to be able to craft a few of those on the road as well. I'll keep this all with me. Now, what needs repairing? Uh, not much, actually. We're in 88% condition. Honestly, I think I'm going to wait a little bit until we're more destroyed. Before I start wasting a bunch of repair putty on this. Uh, this is all seems to be in relative working order. Uh, so then, we're good to go? Or do I, I need to repair it? It doesn't allow me to leave until I repair. All right. Oh, it's recommended. Then to your wounds at the first aid station. That is a good one. And then we need to pack some survival tools. A battery jumper. Okay, let's craft one of those. So if we run out of battery. Uh, battery jumper. That costs just a few electronics. Not too bad. I'll even make, I'll make two of that. Two battery jumpers, so we got two battery jumpers. We got a bunch of repair putty, actually. That's three. Okay, well, if you, if you give me three, I'll repair everything real quick. All right, ninety-eight percent. That's that's close enough for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's a good that's a job well done, uh, and then we'll save the rest for repairs on the road. Okay, so we have an impact hammer, we have a scrapper. Uh, I'm gonna make another scrapper already. Well, we're gonna get this on the road, right? We should be fine. Okay, let's grab, grab that here. Uh, no, I have them in here already, right? No, I don't have first aid kits. I should definitely craft a first aid kit. Grab one of those. Boom. Let's make two, just in case. And then I think we're good to go on our next trip to the wilderness. Uh, we should also charge the battery. Boom. Ready oh to make this remnant verification a one-and-done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. Okay. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up, or you may not survive the trip. All right, we're Which going there. Easier, so we're gonna go so through the zone home. that we just cleared, but it's gonna look different this time. And then we're gonna go there. So this is the way. It's it's an interesting way that the game works. You're gonna have like little checkpoints where you're just trying to get through uh, relatively quickly. Uh, I only did that once, so let's see how it works this time. <laughs> Boom! I think we're good to go. I hopefully didn't forget anything. Repair car. Don't. It's fine. Uh, use screen on the left side to us. Oh, yeah, we can assign the handbrake. <laughs> yes, we can do some drifting. Can I do some drifting? Okay, I mean, I should go a little faster. Find your way to town. So this is like our hub every time, and then we go out on these expeditions, uh, which we couldn't upgrade our steel this time. I don't know if there's going to be like giant enemies chasing us at some point probably right now we're okay though we're chilling all right here we go so i could go here first and then go there but i think i'm just gonna go 
Yeah, I could go here, but let's just go through E5. And make our way to Sierra. Back roads, remote damp forest, outer zone. All right, let's see the map. This is... Uh, I'm gonna pick up these anchors. So this is just an escape. This we're just passing through here Which as you might notice, this is not the same map. We were just on this looks very different Uh, so i'm gonna definitely pick this one up and probably also that one. Uh, let's see I am not in park and there's also a bunch of plasma. I'm gonna go full loot goblin on this one This is so comfy man. Love the rain. Nothing more comfy than being inside during rainstorms I want to go there, but that looks very dangerous. The remnant? Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. See you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. Oh, my God. There's so many. This again. You know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fine. Hey, yeah, the girl. Oh, boy. Ah. Listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, Help. trust me, there are so many. Remnants, one of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. <laughs> a rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always I'm gonna try this. So out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? So interesting. So it's like they're full. They're just literally SCPs. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Uh, recommended fuel tanker. I mean, I already got fuel. We got a bunch of fuel too. I can't even just straight up tank from this directly. All right, that's all you got? Don't have much more? You got some more remnants? Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these Dust. fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. <laughs> yeah, no Sorry, thank driver, you. It doesn't sound fun, oh. but better to know what you're up against. Could the remnant's Can't victims still be out there somewhere? <clears throat> I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> Anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Alrighty, we found quite a few notes. Let's see. Hot dust. Hot dust. Private field notes. Dr. A.F. Kingy. Date unknown. At present, a majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorized as beta particles or gamma rays, behaving almost exactly as we would expect. Never... What's going on? Uh, nevertheless, further study will still be... Re what is happening? Oh, another door. Yes. All right. Well, we'll listen to that first. Effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawling, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. Oh, can we start these? Remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. With the hand vac? Can I suck these? Yes, I can. I get a bulb directly. Okay, that's huge. Because these are hard. These are expensive to make. And then I can scrap the rest. Because it said that I needed the hand vac tool for that a while ago. That was the only time I saw that, though. So I guess it's not a lot of things you can use this on, but still. Worth unlocking. By the way, I completely skipped over this. By, th by this time, <laughs> my first playthrough, I was a little done with the voice logs. And I just completely ignored what they all had to say here. Uh, I did not understand what the hell was going on. Now, did you understand now why I didn't <laughs> why I decided to just replay instead of <laughs> trying to fix it in post? Because I, I don't know. My brain was not working that day. We got paint! Matcha paint! Wait, 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 wait. I'm painting right now. I mean, the blue is kind of nice, but 
Oh, that's a nice green. Look at that. Beautiful. Full on customization of every little bit. Oh God. Uh, uh oh, do I need to leave here? I'm painting, can I please? Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm going. I understand. Uh, this is not a friendly place. I didn't check all the boxes there, but whatever, it's fine. There's a house with lights on inside of it. Someone living here? Did I, paint, did I paint everything? I did not paint everything. That looked ridiculous. That is a very nice color. Beautiful. It's my own car now. Wait, this is still... No, that is painted, I think. All right, what is this? A little cabin in the woods. Totally not ominous. Public health notes. I cannot read that. Caution, danger. Uh, more food that I can store. Also, this, by the way, dumpster pearl. Slice a pearl in half, and you'll find a thousand layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these pearls, and who knows what will pop out. They're loot boxes. <laughs> They're literal loot boxes. You're going to have to bring them to the matter deconstructor and then open them. Uh, electronics. Yes, please. Let me quickly store... That is just a straight up, like, elephant or something out in the, in the wilderness. You can't lie to me. Also heal. I just ate a full on <laughs> can without opening it. I am definitely a robot. Oh, I can't screw up any of this. This is kind of comfy. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this, like... Slightly more cartoonish art style. It's gonna be way more timeless than trying to. I mean, games can be hyper realistic now. There was like a time where there was like an uncanny valley where things try to be realistic, but <laughs> they are super outdated as um, to what's possible now. But at, at the current stage of graphics, people can actually make stuff look hyper realistic without having to be scared that down the line their game will look super outdated. The anchor is right there. Uh, I should not set it down on the road if there's going to be these pillars. Hope my car is not going to get attacked. Boink. This is the mother load. I'm telling you, we got so much fabric. We need thermosap crystals. I don't know where to get those. Maybe we'll find out what is happening. Is my car getting lifted? No. everything you chill one of these again the anchor uh oh it's that can i scan it anomaly glittering boulder transmission fragment and arda dispatch headquarters april 26 1964 hey is anna or this is anna i'm totally going so fast right now Oh, oh no! It's happening again! It's just collecting some data from the weather station. Oh no! There are these new things out here and oh help! If you touch them, ah oh, no, hold on, Charlie! Looks, I'm not an engineer or a physicist. I'm a major <laughs> Jesus Christ. But my guess is that these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch. And when they hit a car, you totally go so fast. Hold on, Charlie. <laughs> All right, then. I will... We can do a jump here. Seems a little dangerous. Also, it's a tow truck. Uh, should definitely break down these steel doors. Give me a steel plate. No steel plate. Is that everything? Oh, I'm gonna get stuck. So many weird sounds. Ah! It's just so much damage. There was two in there. Nice. Uh, there's the anchor. Steel door. Ah! 
I did get a steel sheet from that one. Another steel sheet, huge. Why should I, I could have, I should research more light sources because it's so dark all the time. We're gonna need plasma a bunch in the future, I'm telling you, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Ow. That's just a lot of damage. Nice. Alright, um, anything out there? I see some billboards and stuff, but I'm gonna grab this now. Did I ever, I did read this, but did I read this actually? No, I got interrupted, didn't I? When I was trying to read, oh, I'm in danger zone. Well, let's just grab it then. I'm assuming it is what I expected it was, that these are like supposed to anchor the stability. They're like those, uh, what are they in SCP, the SCP universe? They're still just like stability anchors as well. I forgot what they're called exactly. But I remember playing a game where you would play with those and then, what the fuck? Broken, oh, they are the bunnies he was talking about before. Uh-oh, uh, can you leave me alone, please? Are you doing damage to me? They're gonna make my car very hard to control. Uh-oh. Yep, all right, fuck these bunnies. I'm trying. Please. I cannot go I cannot go left, man. Now I can only go left. Oh, what was that? Oh it's oh, it's just a billboard. There's another one of those plasma things. Are they still in my can you guys fuck off? I'm trying to relax out here. Okay, I wanna grab the other thing. I'm gonna stop here. Uh my car is also just on it. So do I have to like take them off my car myself? What the fuck? Oh wait, did I get away from me? Oh my god, you piece of shit. Do I have to bonk them? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Stop! I should put it in park! Did I not put it in park? I thought I did. Go away. Boing. Oh, I broke my thing, man. Wait, they keep turning off my park! It's <laughs> insanely annoying. I don't have a gas cylinder. Stop it. No. Pick him up. Go away from me. Ow. Are you fucking joking? Wait, never mind. It got stuck to the ground. It's fine. Okay, I took a lot of damage there. That was ridiculous. I don't think it's damaging my car anymore, though. What's in here? Can I get a gas cylinder? Oh, I can't open this. Maybe pry bar? This is working. I want what's in there. Wait, I need what's in there to make what I need to get in here. That's so fucked up. Can I get a gas cylinder from here? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I can open this. That is a ton of stuff. Okay, uh, that's unfortunate. We'll find another one. Maybe I should have made another impact hammer, huh? That's that's on me. I just hit myself with my own car door. <laughs> Drive away, pretend like nothing is wrong. Don't touch me, please. Right, don't hit these guys. Gonna heal more. I'm eating while driving. Don't eat while drive, kids. We should go to this one. And then we're just gonna, because, oh no, we, we're, we missed the road. Well, we can do that. They can drive up here, right? Our station wagon. This is gonna be fine. Maybe. steel that's steel I want it okay, I'm taking a bunch of damage out here by the way I got two four I think I got four steel plates for them really no 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 yes I did it's attached to my car again please fuck off <laughs> these guys are insanely annoying no you're gonna kill me man okay I should just I think they're trying to oh I'm being hit by my own car because they're 
What the fuck? <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, friend. Please make it stop. Close the door. All right, I'm gonna grab your ass, even though this hurts. And then I'm going to far, go far away from my car here and put it over there. Yes, okay, it's not on my car. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. We should read about those. Let's see. I think we're safe here. All right. Broken Bunny. Memo FOA. Dr. Lopez, December 10, 1965. I don't like this. I feel like an experiment. That's what I feel like. Like something is playing with me. Maybe to learn about me. Oh, I think this zone is unstable. All right, well, the game is trying everything to make me unable to read the lore. Okay, then I'm going to go. Yeah, the, the red line. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess these weren't very stable zones after all. That's nice though, because that means you don't have to like full on loot these areas. Yeah, my car is not meant for this incline, man. But I can't go the other way. I have to go back. I have to go back and go around. All right, this is gonna be gonna be a rough ride, gamers. Uh oh, gotta go first right. I'm assuming the yellow line is gonna be followed by the red line again. I want to stop everywhere in this game. Uh oh, we don't want to open one of those gates this time. We just want to drive out of the area. What in the fuck? I know I have to rush, but I want to scan this. Sizzling mist. All right, that's one <laughs> read for another time. Oh God, don't hit my car, please. You'll probably ram into those and break them. That would damage my car too much. Did they ever explain all the floating rock? Oops. Um, yeah, I should not have just driven into that like a dumbass. That's cool, Logan. Anyway, we, we have to rush. I'm sorry. I wish I could stop. I wish we could do some sightseeing. The game is called Pacific Drive. Makes you think it's some kind of scenic, scenic route. Scenic, scenic driving experience, which I guess it is in a way. What is that? Just a caution. <laughs> That's the most terrifying street sign of all time. No information, like falling rocks or something. Just caution. Just be careful. Danger ahead. I'm assuming it was falling rocks that they meant. I just gonna be so far off in the middle of nowhere though, that anchor I wanna go to. I don't know if I can make that. How fast can we go? We can only go, can't even go 60 with this thing. No, 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 don't touch me, don't touch me. There's a house there, but all kinds of, oh, I dodged it. Don't you dare. Get juked. <laughs> Okay, and then they get stuck to whatever they jumped on. Nice. Avoided. Road work. I sure hope it does. Sorry. <laughs> I was hoping for one of those signs, goddammit. Uh, oh, it's one of those can openers. We didn't read about those yet. I hope it's not going to cut me in half. Yeah, the storm is uh, hitting uh, big time. chill this is amazing though. so atmospheric I have to start driving off and I'm gonna drive up to it walking there I think would be too dangerous I mean maybe driving is even more you know what driving might be even more dangerous let's just park the car right here hopefully no bunnies are gonna take my car and drive it away go 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 That's one of those towers again. I don't have an impact hammer. I can't break them anymore. I'm gonna be soggy as hell. You don't need to grab these, by the way. You can just drive out of this area. I'm just playing it 
the way I want to play it, which is exploring more and grabbing more stuff than you need. So you, I mean, you need the stuff to get upgrades. Uh, I'm flying. How the fuck did that happen? Wait. Uh, what the hell? Oh wait, it just launched me into the sky when I was at least. They seem to go up very slowly. How could it launch me? Oh no, there's bunnies. Did they take my car? No. Wait, where is it? No, they did take my car. God damn it. <laughs> you piece of shit. Fuck. No, 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 stop. I need to put it in. Yes, please. I'll put it in. Okay. Uh, we gotta go. I need to heal. Okay, this, these are the most annoying enemies in the entire game. Grab. And I have to, like, because they attack, try to jump onto my car, right? Don't you jump that far. Oh, my God! Okay, this is insanely stupid. Can I, like, do it behind this tree so it's going to jump into the tree and get stuck? I am insane. <laughs> so let's go. I don't know. Please. Gamer plan. It's stuck. It does do damage when it hits you. Okay, please chill now, car. We're supposed to be on the same side. Turn on my radio. Wait, there's a radio? Ghost on the road, a shell in the. I didn't even know there was a radio. I'm assuming these are copyright free. Okay, let's drive out of here now that we have <laughs> survived that whole business. <laughs> That's the checkpoint. Love the blue light. Okay, so when the checkpoints are red, you can't go through them. But when they're blue, you can go through them to the next zone. I see. All right, so now that was just a side zone. I, I made that longer than... Yeah, I should not have been there. That's a high instability area. Whoopsie. I should have just rushed through that. <laughs> Instead, I met a whole bunch of new creatures. All right, here we are. Sierra. Mount Center, damn force area. God, this place Sierra. is massive. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head toward town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra there. used to be. You can't miss it. Okay then. Yeah, this is one of the bigger areas. I don't. I'm assuming you can go back here later, and then it's gonna stay the same. Cause this seems handcrafted. I mean, maybe it's all. Uh, all procedurally generated would be impressive, though. See that right there? A uh, new weird anomaly. Maybe you shouldn't stop to admire the weird anomalies, huh? But I want to understand it. Left, right. Let me guess. It inverts my driving controls. All right. I'm going to read about these at some point, but not right now, because... Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. I don't know what Cappy is, but they, they, they've said it, so that's more on me then. Well, there's more of those uh, tourists. Are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. But to achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can scale from the car I can't. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. You I pretty much are, but okay. Down, wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Right, we're getting... You actually need to scan these, by the way. Don't, uh... <laughs> so you have to get in danger, because some of the crafting recipes you can only unlock once you've scanned different enemies, which is like a way to uh, lock some of the progression behind uh, upgrades. I'm going to leave the steel car. It's fine because I want to go into these buildings. These buildings are going to be loaded probably and look at that shit right there. Uh, I want to take the jump. I am going to take the jump in a moment. 
but I'm gonna set my car up to take that jump later because I want to check this uh, gas station real quick. Big dance. <laughs> Let's go. You got any? Oh, you got a crafting bench, a tier one crafting bench. Interesting. I really need some cylinders. Do you have a cylinder? You don't have a cylinder. I was hoping you did. Maybe back here. Nope. Alright then, unlucky. And there's no crafting. Yeah, I can't craft anything. Alright then. Uh, something up here. The dumpster. That is a friendly dumpster! What the hell is that green stuff? It's another dumpster pill! We have two of those! Oh, they're called dumpster pills for a reason. Uh, where is that? That's probably... I wish I could open the map, but you can't open the map when you're outside of the car. It's... That is crazy. This is a sick game. <laughs> so cool, man. Ooh, give me everything. I'm really hoping I get one of the... No, I don't think. I think you just have to find those, like, in one of those lockers. Like, open lockers. Alright, well, we're gonna take the jump. We gotta. Unless the... Wait, let me see. Is the anchor in a different area? Uh, if we jump down here, we can get... We should go down that road first, I think. And then we come back here to take the jump. I'm just gonna speed run. Yeah, the anchor's literally right next to the road. That shit is wild. That's where they want me to go. <laughs> That's Cappy, huh? Yeah. Oh god, these are gonna launch me. Go, 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 go! Put it in before I get launched. Alright, now we go back for the jump. I have to do the jump. It's required. Oh god! <laughs> no, stop bouncing me! Okay. We're fine. Wait, no, the thing went away? Are you kidding me? I was gonna go sicko mode. All right, that's unfortunate. I mean, we can still make the jump. All right, here we go. Uh, we're probably gonna full on crash here. Get ready. <laughs> I want one of those GTA cams. Woo! All right, that actually worked out better than I expected. There's an anchor out there. I'm gonna go through the anchor first. Yeah, this place looks very unstable. It didn't say high in stability, I don't think so. I mean, I guess it was to be expected. I think we should be here, but... Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt me. Yeah, just take it. Oh, hi! You were not there before! Don't lie to me! Okay, go, go, go. There's more. There's so many. This is juicy! So many upgrades. Oh, my car's so crazy. Uh-oh, I'm gonna drive straight into them! No, I can't stop it! Help! Okay, well, um... <laughs> It's fine. Oh boy. We are going sickle mode. Look at the amount of energy we got here. Uh, I gotta run. There's another one right there. Huh. No response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? I guess I'm full now, almost. I can get a little more. That's mine. Thank you, yoink. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I was just mesmerized by the giant laser beam in the distance. There you go. 
fine. Time to check it out a little closer. We are full on energy. And I want to go uh, there. There is... Yes, these. Please give me what I need. I really need... Uh, oh, I can break that, right? I lost my pry bar. I'm running out of materials, man. Uh, pry bar, yes. Because every I dropped everything in the in the garage, right? Because if you take it all the time, you're gonna be full immediately. Okay, I am looking for a specific item. Another log. Anomaly encounters five. It was pure nonsense at first. They were often garbled, and the ones that we could decipher made no sense. The dates were wrong, and they talked about made-up events, except they weren't made up, you see. It was the gasoline shortage one I remember first, because it was so accurate. We had exactly that shortage two weeks later on, later down, later, down to the gallon. Then there was that lost technician. I thought no one would believe me, but my supervisor and I listened to the one which predicted that Baker boy being dissolved. He was he was right on time. But after that, as soon as we had them all deciphered, they stopped. Interesting. Future predicting anomalies. Oh, this one. Yes. This is what we need. And then we can craft another impact hammer. And then it's all good again. And note to self, make sure to take at least two impact hammers in the future. The impact hammer. We need to see some gears, but we already have those, or we can just craft those. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. No more problem. Is that what I, that's what I was missing? And we have two. This one is a special pearl. It's got like a blue thing on there. All right. Can I go around you guys? I don't want any trouble. Are still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car <laughs> into Cappy's core? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kid for it. Kid? I mean, I guess compared to the 80-year-old grandma. Uh, sure, I'll launch it. What's the worst that could happen? That's what I always say. I'm a big fan of these things. Wait, we should read. We should, we go up here. Home before we drive in there. We have a little bit of time. Wait, what's this machine? Butterflies, man. Uh, pressurized cartridge just turns into plastic. That is the most useless transmuter of what? <laughs> Why would I do that? Are you sure, serious about that? That is like, if it was the other way around, that'd be huge. But that way is like completely worthless. I'm lowering the thing. Uh, inventory full. Okay, I already read this, so I don't need it anymore. Uh, more things. Yes. Receiver. I'm sorry for breaking everything down, by the way. If you guys ever need this in the future, it wasn't me. Uh, not my fault. I need all this stuff. Alrighty, uh, get in here. Do I also have a mech kit? Uh, I have a... No mech kit. I guess I'll make one, because I am very damaged. Wait, but if we're gonna... Oh, let's make one mech kit at least. It's probably gonna go bad otherwise. Boom. Uh, I left my back door open. I'm definitely gonna forget about that. Logbook, here we go. We have so many. Uh, let's start with the broken bunny because we didn't finish this one. Uh, why would that be? Is this a... Wait, what would you say? 
It's playing with me, maybe to learn about me, maybe just in the way you see a raccoon try everything it can to get into a trash can. Why would that be? Is this a response to the experiment I'm performing? Am I interesting? Am I a snack? These damn things chase me and they leap on cars or the field equipment we've set up and it's like they're playing. Please, Anna, tell me you're feeling the same way. Tell me you're seeing this. Nothing in nature is random. Evolution means that things in our world have function. They have purpose. What is the purpose of these things? What are they trying to do? And are things in the zone evolving? They're just very annoying. Can opener is that like saw blade through the ground? Uh, transmission fragment origin unknown. Can anybody hear us? We're still inside the cabin. One of those things is tearing up the ground outside and it doesn't stop. It went through Baxter like. Like when you walk through tall grass, like he wasn't there. Oh God, come in, come in control. Can you hear us? You have to understand. They escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped. They all escaped. It is containment breach. Left, right. That's that weird miss thingy. Uh, teletype auto transcript Arda. Yes, sir. We lost total control, sir. Veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Sick, sir. It's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up and sent it everywhere which way. No, sir, only Jackson, who probably has broken wrist. Everyone else is fine, while all these squatters only seem a little scared. Well, sir, the thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They're dressed kind of strangely. They have hats and flannel shirts, Canadians. But, sir, I thought C Canada was north of Seattle. Victoria? Who is she? Oh, I see. Well, if we can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we can work that out very fast. I mean, French, sir, but I thought that Canadian spoke French. Miller dated a Canadian when she spoke French. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try that now. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're talking to each other, but I only see one side. Uh, hello in there. Are you all right? Hello? Do you understand me? We come in peace. Me, America. You, Canadian. French, sir. I think they're unhappy. What? Okay. Sizzling mist. December 2nd, 1965. You were right! The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above. And we do well to stamp out such colloquial description. No, this is something else. Something both more intense and yet also so much more localized. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some things of this behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research staff is finally paying off. Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this, for sure. Okay, and then Shakers. Uh, Dr. Kelly, 1969, nice. Um, Dearly beloved, we gathered here today to remember our esteemed, honored, and oh-so-kind colleague, Eric Gordon. Taken from us far too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humor, and his grace. Let us remember how he lived and not how he died, propelled as he was 600 feet into the air by a sudden blast of hot corrosive slime. I know our hearts are all so heavy today and we only wish this Eric could have also been heavier and thus not flown quite so far. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> all right, crazy anomalies. It's time for us to do something crazy. We just drive off into that thing right there. And we collected a, a billion energy along the way. This was an incredible mission. If we can just survive, that is, of course. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Got an achievement. Complete a run with at least two junctions and with twice the anchor amount. I got juiced up. I got a juiced up achievement. Uh, I did it. We made it. We got so much energy there. 4.9. Can't be fried by transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. It's fine. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the Ark device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from I want so many upgrades. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest Can of your sanity. fit everything, bro. <laughs> okay. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to break open these dumpster pearls. I want to see it. Lots of steel and lots of chemicals. That's huge. Uh, please stop interacting with that. Nice. And then we're definitely going to upgrade our car to steel here, by the way. More steel, more electronics. What's that? Lime green paint? <laughs> Wait, we got to try that. I got paint for that? This is probably going to look absolutely disgusting. Let's see. That's... <laughs> I mean, let me know what you think. Should we go with the matcha paint or the lime green paint? <laughs> That's the only two we have. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I should paint it back. At least for now. I'm gonna keep it like this unless you guys want the lime green paint in which case I'll swap. Where the hell? It's probably in here still. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's right there. Fix it. Also, what the hell? I got so many quests on the side. Take another drive. Activate driver's checklist at the monitor. Driver's checklist. Here we go. Oh, dumpster diving. I already did that. I mean, I can do it again. What? You give me a full-on crude panel? All right, then. I will take the resources gladly. Thank you. Wait, this is OP. You can just sit here and farm the dumpster the whole time? Wait. Oh, when it's essential, you can't... Oh, uh, I see. You can't scrap it to get resources, so you can get infinite resources. All right, understand. Uh, put the paint in there. Heal me. And then it is time to do some research. Tires? Yeah, we're gonna fix our tires. Wait, my tires are full on flat and everything. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, wait, didn't I? Oh, I, I should turn off the headlights. Wait, didn't I turn off the car? I guess I turned off the car, but didn't turn off the headlights. There. I charge the battery. Boom. And then over here. We got lots of choices. How much do we got? We got 4.1 or 4.8. Uh of the k, k, k limb or whatever what do we want to do with that let's see what kind of upgrades we have we have uh can we have better fuel is not really necessary we could get a better fuel uh we could get what is this limb pulse emitter this is not a pun it's a carefully cal cal calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second the generator makes it extremely difficult for some organic and electro electro organic entities to hold on or to harm the vehicle wait that's huge we could get off those bunnies yeah scan see scanning a bunny anomaly is required for this wait that's actually super useful we should do that um i want to first get steel though i think let's just do that first because we know we want to get steel uh let's get steel doors check uh i'm just gonna unlock them all first uh, steel doors. I want steel panels. Check. Uh, it's flying off. And then I want steel bumper. So everything is steel. Can I not? There we go. I read them. Oop. I still had so much left there. Beautiful. Okay, we can get an expanded locker, which might be nice. Actually, that's not even... Six steel sheets to research this. Outfitting station. They need more gas cylinders. How do I make those? Improved antenna. We can go further with that. Matter regenerator. Uh, retailing station. Store and install your vehicle cosmetics at this dedicated beautifying station. <laughs> that's kind of nice. There's so many fun upgrades, man. Um... Let's see, plasma chopper. Oh, we need unstable energy for that. That's the next upgrade. Uh, blowtorch also needs unstable energy. Anchor radar can allow you to find the radar but, or the anchors, but we already know that. Oh, headlight, an actual headlight. Yeah, let's go as well. So we have, because we now have one crude headlight. We want a normal headlight. Uh, let's see. And can I get a, yeah, relightable flare. I want a better flashlight. That's always so, un a crude flashlight. Yeah, let's get the relightable flare first. Boom, we're getting so many upgrades. That's because we did an insane mission there where we got way more energy than we needed. And then I... Oh, I can't get it. I need unstable energy. Okay, but a relightable flare is going to be useful. Uh, side floodlights unlock a side rack. 
Wait. Oh, yeah. You can put stuff on the side. Okay. That seems like a really... You can put stuff on the side of your vehicle. Oh, I need to make them one at a time. I see. It's not just a thing that I... Re yeah, there we go. I'm trying to put it on. Boom. Nice. Now, what do we want? If we can get some storage on the side, that'd be nice. Can I get that? Side storage. Let's go. Okay, we're running slow, slowly low on stuff, but that seems very useful for the way I've been playing because I've been going kind of crazy uh, with looting a bunch of stuff. Let me see. Relightable flare. Uh, I really want that. Take some road flares, copper. That barely anything. All right, now we got a better flashlight. Boom. Nice. We actually got a flashlight. Now it still, I think, uses... It still will eventually run out, um, but it just lasts a lot longer. I would like to get steel pal. Yeah, we're gonna get those in a sec. Side storage here, yes. Oh, the side full light sounds cool too. Boom! <laughs> Look at that, a little side storage. Nice, that's actually quite a bit. All right, and then you can do that there. You can have four side racks. What else can I make? I have more stuff. I have more stable energy. Expanded locker is still... I think the expanded locker... I mean, I need a lot of steel for the... For the... Yeah, I don't think we need that. I mean, we do. But I want to get the steel door first. Let's do that first before we unlock anything more so we see how many resources we have left. Let's invent... Or figure out how much we need. This door I didn't even... No, I did paint it. This is very broken. All right, we need one, two, three... Four steel doors. Holy shit. All right, let's do those first. Uh, let me take off the... We can turn these into crafting materials again with the deconstructor. Well, we might as well do that. Because we know we're going to make better ones now. Hopefully, I'll have enough. Boom. I'm dismantling. <laughs> Don't worry, friend. You'll be fine. Wait, is this actually a crude door? This is a crude door. Super efficient. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And that's it. Then we have some side panels, but let's do the door first. All right, so we need three. Oh, no, we need four because the side, the back door is a well, holy. Not so many. I appreciate that you can just put a side door on the back. <laughs> that doesn't have to have a completely unique shape. All right. Uh, steel door. Here we go. We can eat. That's only one steel panel. One, two, three, four. I can't hold those. They're going to be on the floor there. Boom. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Have, have I ever... What kind of game is like this? Is there any other game that has upgrades like this? I guess Subnautica in a way. Like the... the uh, the submarine, the huge submarine of Subnautica. That's also super satisfying. That's amazing. All right, all the doors are steel. I know they're not painted. We're going to paint those. Uh, then we need one, two, three, four crude panels. Okay. I would love to get better tires too. Or four steel panels. That's a lot. Oh, that costs two steel sheets a, a pop. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Uh, well, we definitely need... Oh, but we have a lot of scrap metal. Alright, let's make... One, two, three, four. There. I should first... Get rid of these original ones. Very clever system. You get so much back from that, too. You can almost just turn these into... I want... Uh... What better tires do? You can almost just turn each of these crude panels into a steel one, as long as you have the crafting recipe. I went a little loot crazy, maybe. <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna need these materials down the line. Gimme, 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 gimme. Look at that. Alright, now, one at a time. Boom. This is also kind of a cool... I mean, it's just no paint, right? It's just flat steel, but it kind of looks cool. I wonder if... I don't know if he can remove paint. It's kind of futuristic. And the last 
last one. Then we need to bumper stew. I unlocked that, right? Boink. Nice. And then I got a flat tire, I know. This one headlight. Let me grab that. We want... Because we have a normal headlight. One normal headlight, but another one that's stinky. Headlight. Which costs a bulb, but we have been getting those bulbs now. Boink. Beauty. And then one, two steel bumpers. Steel bumper costs two steel sheet as well. Jesus Christ. All right. One, two, one, two. There. Nice. So much heavier. Love, love the way the car moves when you attach and detach things. Well, uh, only when you attach things, but it does like a little bounce. A little happy bounce. I got road flares from getting the... How did I get a road flare from the crude headlight? Also, how did I get much of paint from that? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Maybe that was still there from one of the pearls or something. Boom. All right. A little damage here and there, such as this we need. What do we need for this? Uh, well, maybe we need to get new tires, right? That's everything upgrade. I know it's not painted. We're going to do that. Don't worry. Let's see. Can I get better tires? Tires. Summer tire. Off-road tire seems good. All right. I'm definitely going to unlock summer tire. Is it just... Yeah, it's just more health. You can see right... right yeah, I'm not covering it up. Uh, do that. And I do off-road as well. I can, but it costs a, a ton. Okay, so we're going to get that later. All-terrain tire. Getting better and better. All right, what else? We have the reinforced headlight. It means corrupted energy. Side floodlight sounds cool, too. But I need another side rack. Does this cost... This cost energy every time? That's kind of fucked up, man. Oh, wait. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, you need to un unlock them. Okay, I see. So I have one side rack right now. All of these are separate. Oh, seed rack. You can also put stuff inside the and roof rack. Oh, we're gonna full. <laughs> we're gonna stack this car with stuff. Okay, so we need to save up for that. Uh, and what do we spend? Sure, we could spend the locker, but we need a lot of steel, which I think that is the most worthwhile out of all of these. There might be something that I'm missing, um, but let's do that. Six steel, right? Easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we still got a, over a hundred <laughs> left. Expand my locker. Boom. Please. Wait, what? Locker expander kit. Oh, I can put this. Oh, here. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's going to be huge storage. Nice. Is this all gonna be one though? It's not all. Oh, this is just a new. This is the expanded lot. Okay, huge. I'm gonna put my stuff in there. Let's see. We need to paint now. I think I'm gonna wait. Let's try the because we have how many? We have matcha paint and we have lime green paint. I kind of want to try out the lime green. People are gonna hate this. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, this is a different type of door. Wait. Oh, I should definitely craft another steel door then. Yeah. Wait, that looks so disgusting. Okay, never mind. No, no, no thank you. Okay, I need another steel door though, because this one is a completely... Can I make this one though? Wait, there was a... Oh, no, I should have gone to the cosmetic station then. Wait, wait, wait. Can I still get that? No! Are you serious? <laughs> I'm missing a, a little bit. That's for next time. All right, that's for next trip. Uh, let's just do the matcha paint. We will, we will, like, I will do it. I'm I'm telling you. I'm going to waste some materials. I don't care. Be mad at me all you want. I want it to look nice. So we're going to remove the other steel door. I'll leave it here for now instead of breaking it. Because we might want to swap to that design. There. It's a bit of... I, I hope to get a... This color is okay, but it's not as... Like I can look. This looks like your <laughs> your parents' car. 
<laughs> like literally. What the hell? Can I even I can paint the bumper? No, I can't. Yeah, in the green. Like, if you have a car this color, I'm sorry, you're insane. I mean to put you in the crossfire. All right, that's all the same color, all built of steel, but it's a little damaged, so we gotta repair. Uh, this in here. All right, let's grab my repair buddy. Only have a little bit. All right, what's damaged? All the stuff that I just built is not gonna be damaged. The tires are gonna be removed. Steel panel. Boink. Head lamp. That's a nice part. I don't have to repair too much here. Because all these panels are completely new. Yeah. Wait, I don't have to... I literally replaced every single part of the car. Except, uh, the one... This one steel panel? No, literally everything. Except the front. And the one headlamp. Okay. That saves me on some repair stuff. Boom. We have a full impact hammer. I don't think I need to take a second one. Because that one impact hammer la lasted us a while. Uh, nice. And then I want new tires now. Summer tires. Uh, spare tires. Summer tires, we need gears, which makes sense. Four. One, two, three. Wait, do I need four? This is spare tire. Spare tire. So, this is actually the only one that's broken is already a summer. Wait, there's two already. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I need to repair that one as well? Which means I need a ceiling kit. Not a ceiling kit. Blink. Oh, it's actually full of mate now. This one is. I, now it's only a tiny bit of damage, but, but I just want to do it. I want to get a perfect car. Alright, and then we take off these. We're gonna brush them. Luckily, I am the strongest man to ever live. I can just lift the car and <laughs> take off the tire with my bare hands. I'm insane. All right, and then we need two of these. Summer tire, summer tire. Wink. Now that's insane. Look at that. We started with a piece of shit, and now we got... Extra storage, which is a significant amount of extra storage compared to this. It's like 50% more. Uh, we have... We didn't get... Did we get that upgrade? No, no, no. We didn't get the one ability, right? We want that. The, like, laser ability where we can get those bunnies off our thing. Uh, we've made the entire car out of steel. We've gotten so many resources. Like, I spend so much time looting here. Maybe a little too much, but that just means we can go faster on the next episode. So I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. Uh, this is pretty much where I stopped uh, in my first playthrough on stream, but it took me a lot longer to get here, and I had a lot less fun doing it because I got a little confused and lost in the sauce and a little distracted. So I'm glad that I replayed it and gave it the proper playthrough or at least the proper start of a playthrough that it deserves so let me know if you want to see this continue see where this goes find figure out more crazy anomalies which by the way we read all of that right yeah just making sure uh before i leave and people in the comments are gonna be like oh you never read about this one anomaly no i think i read about all of them uh so yeah thank you so much for watching if you made it here i i appreciate you and i hope you enjoy the off stream playthroughs let me know how they are let me know if you want to see more off stream series this game or other games uh the like uh and i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the live streams you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or get the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye